Hey church, welcome back to day three of our Barmy Bible Stories devotional journey. My name is Darren, one of the pastors here at Audacious Church. And for the last few days, we've been looking at the story of Paul and Eutychus from Acts 20 verses 7 to 11 and what to do in a crisis. Here we have a crisis moment where Paul, the apostle, was speaking he was preaching and from a third story window, a young man called Eutychus fell from the window and, and died. On day one, we looked at what to do in a crisis. The first step is to stop. Day two, a double whammy of what to do in a crisis was to take initiative, responsibility and think outside the box. We see Paul doing those things in the moment as we read Acts 20 verses 7 to 11 and day three of our devotional journey looking at Barmy Bible stories is we see this young man was the scripture says where they picked him up dead we saw the second step like I said yesterday of what to do in a crisis use your initiative and think outside the box today step three is to adopt a language of faith Paul says this is what he says in scripture don't be alarmed. The boy has fallen from the third story. Everybody's looking and Paul jumps up. He throws himself on the young boy and says, don't be alarmed. He's alive. The Bible says that there is life and death in the power of the tongue. And it's clear to me that we have to be people that speak life over our lives. Let me take a moment to ask you what words are you speaking over yourself, your family, your finances and your future? Take a moment to check and ask, what am I speaking? What's coming out of here over my life? The Bible is the spoken word of God. Scripture is powerful and we need to create a habit of speaking scripture over our lives as well as declaring scriptures when we are in the middle of crisis. It's not avoiding the facts that are around us. It's adopting the language of faith. Church, that's what we need to do in our lives in the middle of a crisis. Adopt the language of faith. Get a word from God. Push into the Bible. Pray about this in your life right now. Whatever you are, are facing, what are you speaking? Is it life or is it death? But let's make sure that we adopt the language of faith. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow for day four of Barmy Bible Stories.